What's going on YouTube? Out here doing things again and this time working on this hey it focused. Uh working on this washer. Um last time I did laundry I noticed that uh it's in little uh closet type daily and uh right here where the carpet uh meets the linoleum um, I had a nice puddle of water, so I wanted to figure out what the heck was going on with this thing. So, um, I already figured it out. I thought I actually, I thought this was going to be a two-parter. I thought I already figured this out, and it was going to be a no-brainer. I checked out the pump down there, where it was my first suspect, and, um, the inlet, the outlet, I was actually, or actually, the inlet, the outlet, um, I was actually, um, hoping that it was going to be this pump but it's not. Uh, I checked out the, like I said, the inlet and the outlet there, and I was thinking that I knew what the problem was, and I couldn't, f well, I couldn't find anything wrong, and then when I came up here and I checked that drain line back there, I could see some water marks coming down the wall back there, and I thought, oh, I got a plugged up drain. This will be a two-parter. That way I can show you guys how to unplug a drain and how to fix a washer. Nope. Not going to be this video, so um, or the, any of the next ones. Um, so, f step one. Uh, well, first off, when you have something broken and you're actually contemplating replacing it, start meddling with it. Start screwing around with it and see what you can do. Like, I've fixed more things that way, just thinking, well, I'm going to throw it out anyway. I've fixed more things that way than I have, you know, oh, I bet you I can fix this kind of thing. Uh, when you, usually when I say I bet I can fix it, I usually don't get it fixed. Um, but anyway, first step is to get this front cover off here. There's many different ways. Most of the ways, um, what you want to do is take, say, like a small screwdriver, and right here on the corner, uh, you can see where that hole is right there. Right there on that corner, usually you got a little um, clip that you can undo and you undo the other one on the other side and either the panel will lift up and out because they've got these little slots here and they usually have little uh, dealies that go in and hook. Uh, mine is actually the opposite here. If you look at it, mine actually hooks up. And the reason for it is right down here, I've got two screw holes, one on either side, and that's what actually holds mine on. So I have to take out these two screws. That doesn't get the thing off, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, what I've got here is these clips here, and they clip into the lid. So what you want to do is take not a little flimsy screwdriver like this. I actually used this big old thing here and uh, use that to get in between the top lid and this front cover. And that popped uh, this little clip. If you can see, it's kind of triangular there. There you go. Um, and it holds on to it. And that popped right out. And then this whole panel could be dropped down and then pulled out. But either way, just get a good flashlight and start looking around. You'll be able to see how to get this thing off. So anyway, now we've got this front panel wide off, or right off. Um, like I said, this is our pump here. It's A uh, washer is really not a... Uh, complex thing you've got your motor right over here Wait, actually, there we go you got a motor right over here and that is what actually moves you can see the belt right down there that's what actually moves the tub around and then you've got your uh, pump over here where you can see the drain line coming in that comes out of the tub there right into the pump it comes off of the pump and goes up back there and it comes out as the drain so there's like most of your electrical type, uh, well, not electrical, uh, motorized components. And the rest is everything right up there uh, uh, on boards right behind that. And then you've got your timer over here. Uh, but it's a real simple configuration. Uh, washers, <laughs> dryers are even easier. But uh, yeah, washers, really not a big problem. And when you've got a water leak, it really can only come from like what one two three four five different places um like i said one would be the inlet here which would leak all the time one would be the outlet there and that would only leak when the pump is turned on and it's running and trying to drain the tub and the uh other would be um your drain line itself any of these drain lines especially the one going out the back and the last thing would be your tub itself so um, and so my case, I've got a leak. Um, yeah, like I said, 
this was all full of water here last time I did that. And uh, yeah, I wanted to get to the bottom of this. So I actually started some laundry and I found what the leak was very quickly. Um, so I guess I might as well go ahead and resume my wash uh, here because uh, I got to get some laundry done. And uh, I'll show you where my leak's coming from and you can see how screwed I am. So we just um, went out of a spin and drain. Here comes the water. Now the tub will start filling, that way it can start oscillating and uh, moving the clothes back and forth, rinsing the clothes that already went through the clean cycle. So we'll just sit here and wait. Once it uh, gets filled back up, probably should have lowered the water level, eh? Um, once it gets filled back up, then I'll resume operation. Now it just starts pouring right out of the center. It pretty much means the tub is not holding water. And look at that stream. Yeah, that's what I got to deal with now. Alrighty. Well, I know you can pull that tub off of there and replace that seal. I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to get that seal. I'm sure this washer is probably a good 15 years old or so. We all know how everybody likes things disposable these days. But anyway, so yeah, I was hoping it was my drain line and look what it turns out to be. Nope. It's the actual uh, part where the center uh, I'm sure there's a seal right there, um, right there, dead center of the tub. So, yay! Well, I gotta grab the shop back and start cleaning this up because I don't know if this is showing up, but I got water creeping in and it's coming towards the carpet. So I gotta get out of here and clean that stuff up. So this was troubleshooting with me. We'll see if uh, we actually get this uh, seal replaced or we just replace the entire thing. Maybe you'll see that in the future, but anyway, you can see the pulley moving. Oh, and water going everywhere. All right, I gotta get on the shop back. So thanks for hanging out with me. No intro this time, or egg outro this time. But check out that Amazon link down below. Check out the comments down below. Uh, leave a comment. That way everybody can find you. Do all the fun, happy social media stuff. I got water leaking everywhere. I gotta go. All right, thanks for hanging out with me. Later. Look at that water. He's a man.